authorized armed agents to use deadly force in the Mar-a-Lago raid. Yeah. That, that is insane. Is there any justification for that? Absolutely not. The thing that concerns me about this, the approval of the use of deadly physical force to engage the president and his security detail, who you know, Jesse, is the Secret Service, is a, is a pre-authorization. Okay, so this is uh, Janine Pirro and Jesse Waters doing the best they can with their collective fifth grader worth of brain cells to turn the development about the, the newly found classified documents that Trump kept even after the raid to not be the thing they focus on. Instead, focus on the fact that they were gonna kill him. They were gonna bust down the door, grr, guns blazing, and they were gonna take out, oh, there's Trump and there's Barry and Don Jr. It's obviously not true. Janine Pirro, to the extent that she can know anything in the Pinot Grigio haze that she's in 24 seven, knows that this is not an accurate description of what actually happened. There is the barest like grain of salt of truth that they are crafting this insane uh, narrative from. And we're gonna get to that, we're gonna explain what's actually going on. But here's a little bit more of them trying to get the most out of it. Let me ask you something, Jesse. When we were getting out of Afghanistan, did the Biden administration approve the use of deadly physical force when we had someone in a suicide vest in our sight with actionable intelligence? No, we, and <laughs> 13, Americans, 13 Americans inside that is me crazy. here they're ready to use force you know, it's they smart. didn't do it against Joe Biden when they seized his records so when someone is being chased by an undercover when they're tackled and cuffed you often hear them say oh i didn't know you were law enforcement right. you you know you weren't you were dressed like plain clothes maybe right. they were looking for a little action maybe <laughs> they didn't do an afghanistan yeah yeah, no, Biden told the soldiers if there's a guy with a suicide vest on, you can't shoot him. That's a that's a thing that happened. And it also has literally anything to do with what we're talking about. It's a weird thing being a host on Fox News. The desperate spin that you do have to do at all times. But um, look, Janine Pirro thinks that this is uh, fertile ground for criticism of Joe Biden. She's letting loose there, or maybe better described as she's uncorked. Um, but anyway, no, it's not it's not actually true. This is not, it's not they did not like specially authorize deadly force. They were never gonna shoot Trump, you big dumb donkeys on Fox News. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Listen, in order for the damage report to keep on going, we need viewers like you to become a member on YouTube. Can you click the join button on YouTube today? Thank you. Here's an explanation on what is actually going on and how typical this actually is. This is ridiculous. There's nothing to see here. And I looked even at what specifically they're talking about. If you look at the search warrant documentation, there is a standard form. It's page 11 of the sheet. And it gives the FBI and the generally acknowledged standard for use of lethal force. It says, essentially, you can only fire your weapon, you can only use lethal force if there is imminent danger of death or serious bodily injury to somebody else. If you see somebody else about to shoot somebody, about to stab somebody, it is, if anything, a very tight limit on when you can use lethal force, almost never. It appears in every search warrant, every ops plan, operational plan, ops plan, there is nothing to this. Okay, so look, Ellie Honig right there is mostly right, but makes two fatal flaws. One, being reasonable, and two, actually read the document. Two things that are not allowed and will not be done on Fox News. Sharon, what do you think? Well, I think um, if it was the Trump administration, they would have issued something on Biden that says shoot to kill. As soon as you enter there, I mean, that's just what I think. Um, but of course, this is ridiculous. And I think it's even ridiculous for Fox News and um, the former judge, Janine and Jesse. <laughs> and I think the segment probably was supposed to include others who said, you know what? I can't do it. <laughs> okay. You guys have at it. You don't want to cancel it, but I can't, even I can't be part of this. I think that's what went on internally at Fox. And so you ended up with the two of them just feeding off of each other and <laughs> pumping each other up. I actually think that's what happened. Too much. You don't even have, yeah. you can't possibly have two sources unless it's, you know, her two girlfriends who she, you know, was with the night before and having a few cocktails. They said, what if it, you know, let's look at it. Yeah. And then now it's on, it's an exclusive.
You you could be right. Look, I, I have been blessed for a very long time that I have awesome co-hosts on the show. I have you every Wednesday. I look at them having to like vamp with yeah. each other, and I just think they both could do better, honestly. Anyway, with that said, I want to move on to the response uh, to this. But, oh, well, let me just briefly say the FBI did put out a statement saying they followed standard protocol in the search as we do for all search warrants, which includes a standard policy statement limiting the use of deadly force. That's what it did. It did not open up. The option of deadly force. They have guns because gun, lethal force is always an option. It restricted it. That's what it did. But it doesn't. Why are we bothering to acknowledge reality? They don't care. And what I would, I'll say another pointless thing. Have you ever seen Fox News care one tenth as much as they just did about not even allowing violence against Donald Trump as they have when cops? Have gone to like a suspect or whatever and just shot up the place or thrown a flashbang in, grenaded a kid, shot a dog, just shot up a family through the walls. Actual people dying with an over escalation of force. Have they ever cared as much about that as they do against this standard boilerplate document in an incident from two years ago that involved no violence against Donald Trump? Members make a difference here at TYT. You help make the show happen and we see you in the chat with your loyalty badge. Click the join button to become a member today.